Wow, it's a little cold, but um, what's really cool is I was shopping for gifts for my client that I'm going to go visit, and in the crystal shop, I met another person who booked a reading right away, and it's like, this shit is really dope. The next day, we went ahead, we did a reading, it was in home, it was kind of like an energy healing session, and what's dope about that is it's like, you know, I'm a Scorpio rising, which often makes people have like a Gemini in the eighth house. So it's like we don't really like to talk to people too much, right? This is a part of what makes our, it's like, look, if it ain't deep, it ain't nothing. But the, the combo was deep from the jump. And I think what's so super duper dope about this is, is, um, you know, by allowing myself to talk, the day before I go visit the next client, and I'm actually going longer term to work with over 24 weeks or so, um, went ahead and booked the reading. And so this is super dope. Um, I say this more as a space of inspiration for other people who are out there on the creative journey to go ahead and pursue it and don't really... Uh, don't really think too much you know just go ahead and get it done all right this is the gift actually let's check in it's really exciting can you tell what it is from my one-on-one -on -one. ganesh ganesh Ooh. so i'm giving this to my client that i'm working with for the next 24 weeks Oh, I really like this. If I'm being honest, I wanted it for myself, but I'm traveling soon and I wasn't prepared to carry something of this size. So this is one, okay? And then, actually, that's mine. Then I gave her, I brought these all individually, but I put them in the same bottle. So um, I wonder if I can... So this is a lapis lazuli. I got this because I know that she has a lot of thinking type energy and this can help cool down the mind. Um, this is a word that I can't remember. I'm gonna put up on the screen, derma, dermatite or something like that. I think it's primarily for Leos, um, but I'll show you the benefits on the screen. This is some sage. I brought all these individually, but I put them in this one little wrapper. That's to smudge. Um, this has rose petals, so it helps the sage to have a unique smell. Uh, rose petals also is very good in the air as a cleanser um, to help put love in the world, uh, to lo love in your space. And I got a little Palo Santo stick. And this bad boy helps with stress and anxiety. And it's a great little piece that she could just keep around her space uh, to help with stress. Again, I know she has some virgo energy in her chart and it's like okay great i want to like let that be there so this is this is a little pack um that i'm really happy to go ahead and get can you imagine you signed up with me one-on-one -on -one working for 24 weeks and you got this for a little gift pack Woohoo! so here's what i would like to do this is actually an ipad air box i would like to see if i can fit this in here Okay, that's the apple. Dang, that won't fit. It's not gonna fit. Will this fit? All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little improv. All right, maybe maybe it will. I don't think so. But what we can do is, we can make it. We can improv. All right, that fits, and then. I can go ahead and put this rose back in the bag. So client's getting that apple air. All right, she's gonna hear it as soon as she picks it up. You're gonna feel it. I'll put this in the bag. Get her, this is agate. Put that in the bag. Um, then I'm gonna actually throw a little sticker on here. So I threw the apple stickers. <laughs> Apple, 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 baby. How funny is that? This is what's like, you know, you get the superficial on the outside, but usually we're much brighter on the inside, no? Like, look at the symbolism. We're so much more real and authentic at our core, all right? On the inside of the box, the real magic, the Palo Santo, the crystal for healing, right? But the outside superficial layer uh, is what we got to break through to get to the heart of what we really want and what we need in our lives. So I go visit on Friday. Uh, 
welcome and thank you for the vlog of what it's looking like working with me one on one. She's gonna be with me for the next 24 weeks. Um, I did the same thing for a complete another client that I went and met out in San Diego, California. You should check that vlog. And I want to do more revealing my life and like, what do I really do in a day to day? I gotta come out the shadows because I realized like, you know what, P, you live a fucking cool life, bro. Like, I'm gonna drive two and a half hours um, to go two hour, yeah, two and a half hours, maybe two forty to go meet her on Friday. Um, it's going to actually be 71 degrees, thank God, because the day after it drops to like 40. <laughs> this fucking weather be like this here. So um, I just got off an interview reading with somebody live that just did the reading. That was awesome. Met somebody in the crystal store while buying this gift. Look at the abundance, bringing charity, which then that reading is going to pretty much cover all my calls. So, you know, you put in and you get out. You know what I'm saying? It's going to cover my costs and it's going to put stuff on top. And I'm going to do this in person with somebody here, which I love more than doing it over the internet. But I'm down and I'm open for both. You want to fly me out? Okay? You want to fly me out and get this in-healing work? Go ahead and drop the links down below. Check the links and reach out. Contact me. All right? Because I'm, I'm down to do it. Your boy's down to catch a flight. All right? So I'm going to drive on this one. Flew in the last one. And stay tuned for the vlog. So side note, I just picked up this gold pyrite joint. And I'm already feeling super duper abundant. Uh, the black onyx that I actually got in um, the middle, I got that in Colombia. And this volcano rock I got in Colombia as well. But from that same store, um, metaphysical own, welcome, welcome own metaphysical store, I got this uh, carnelian. This is the red one to help my Aries. Uh, the turquoise, the blue turquoise I actually got back in Colombia. But there's an elephant down at the bottom. And... This is green aventurine, I want to say. It's either green aventurine or it's, uh, I think it's green aventurine. I'm packing my sound bowl. It's my little picnic for the blanket. I got my drum set. You see my Astro dice down here. On the meat, different astrology placements and numerology. A little drum set. So the only downside, and this is my, my actual my baby drum portable pack is I have to bring my laptop because I have another client me online and I didn't want to bring this but if I don't so it'll be way more complicated this is part of the globe baby this is part of the part it's annoying I remember I had to carry my shit through Singapore once and it was really annoying <laughs> but okay here we go okay we also bring in the gloves baby we're bringing the gloves we're bringing the gloves that's coming along. So, I actually have some lunch. I made two French omelets. French omelets being like you gotta stir the batter really slow um, and cook it on slow. No candles. And then I made some sweet potato mash that I'm gonna eat and just some veggies. I'm not opening that, but I pack that up. You know what I'm saying? Trip to take these apples. I'm gonna take those apples, a couple oranges. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm getting ready to pack up. Uh, well, I, I am packed up. <laughs> Everything's in the car, the food, the boxing equipment. I'm getting ready to go meet this client, um, really just digest uh, each other. I got a two hour and like 40 minute drive down to Little Rock, Arkansas. This is, I'm a little tired today. I woke up with like a little headache. I had a crazy dream, I was stuck in quicksand, but I got out of that bitch. So I'm gonna leave a dream interpretation later on today about quicksand. Um, I knew exactly what it was about, but yesterday was a push, you know, with the one-on-one the -on -one healing session I had in home with another woman here in Arkansas, and then um, some, some social emotional wellness application who is inviting me on Valentine's Day to be an expert, the first astrologer on the platform. So I had to do a little structuring out for that, do some negotiations. Those negotiations have been going on for a year. And it's like, okay, great. From what I understand, there's some funding and, and, and now I should be getting invited to that. Then it followed up with a, um, a college student and their natal reading. So a little more astrotherapy sessions, but now we get to go do the work in person and get to go do the real work. So stay tuned. Um, I'm excited to see what happens, baby. why I love to pack up because when I get hungry I get angry you don't want to see me angry on the road living my life like it's golden living my life like it's golden 
Living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. Okay, so we're here. I love water. Love when we get to water. Never been here before. My first time in Little Rock. It's the capital of Arkansas. And um, I'm actually really excited. I got the gift on the side. I got the equipment in the bag. This is the life of an astrologer working on YouTube. I just want to show you the behind the scenes. Um, for anybody that believes they can't make it, doing what they love, okay? Especially if it's unconventional, especially if no one else knows about it or if everybody else thinks that it's this weird hobby, like let's say astrology. I just want to like, let y'all know, um, don't ever give up, okay? Don't, 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 don't let the dream die off of somebody else's bush. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So, it's Pernod Bobby, your astro therapist. If you haven't liked and subscribed this already, definitely do. This is the vlog. I'm coming down to meet clientele, which I finished, okay? Um, we got to break bread by doing something illegal today, which I won't say on camera because it was fucking illegal, but when she watches this, she'll know what we're talking about, and it's, it's really nice. This is why, like, you know, I'm working with this woman for the next 24 weeks. Um, same thing happened with my other client back out in... Uh, California and it's like I went there to go break bread with her and do some other shenanigans that have nothing to do with being spiritual that has nothing to do with doing things the right way um, and I find this to be really important because you know building rapport with somebody it's more than money like honestly it can't be about the money if you're in this space of being let's say a light worker a healer an empath somebody that's helping people an astrologer a youtuber whatever your creative talent like you know my, my acts of you is to do it for more than just the money but then also you know, really honor and respect that the money is a part of it, right? So, I was gonna stay down here. I'm in Little Rock, Arkansas, but I don't know if it's the Cancer Moon or not, but it's really just not the day. This is what I gotta tell you. I honestly feel like it's the fact that the moon is in Cancer right now, and I'm picking up on emotional energy here that I really don't like. Um, I do know that this is a gangbanger type city, quite frankly, like Little Rock, Arkansas, there's a lot of death. Um, there's a lot of gang violence. This, this is a simple reality. And I have a cancer in the 8th house, which is like, I can sense death. And I'm, I'm willing to lose my, my money. Like, so I'm, I'm not going to go stay in my hotel. I'm not going to check in. I just want to go back home. And it's another two hour, two and a half hour drive or so back home. All in the same day, which in one sense is his own level of tiring. But I just need to be in my own environment. And I think what I really want to share in this moment is like, um, don't give up. Okay? If you are on your entrepreneurial path, don't give up. There's a point in my life where... I would have had to take that apartment because I would have been sitting there basically not feeling worthy of anything different than like, oh, I put my money in it. I have to stay. Oh, these green. This green is beautiful. I love green. I put my money in it. I have to stay, you know, um, blah, 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 blah. And then be in a situation I know that's going to make me feel uncomfortable. So then I basically set myself back more by just that lack mindset where, you know, I'm not going to sit there and say I'm going to just dump money into something and just start giving it away. I've done that too. But and, and just not respect it. But what I do want to say is, it's like, you know, if you're out there, you're a YouTuber, you're an astrologer, you're somebody in the spiritual space, just understand that the day will come, all right, where money won't really be the concern. And then you get to start making the decisions that fit right with your soul, the decisions that your nervous system is on board with. And this makes you actually really happy um, to be in that position. So I want to say thank you all for just so much support on this channel, so much support, you know, by, by funding my dreams by funding my travels, by funding my adventures, which are really to go ahead and build other people up that are coming out, going through their own personal spiritual awakenings in the spaces where they're seeing demons, ghosts, and goblins, and they needed guidance the same way I did, and I couldn't find it when it was there. And it was just like, this is part of the reason why it's become so important for me, because it's like, I don't, I don't want people to have to go through that shit. Like, it's not, it's not pretty. Going through spiritual awakenings, you know, recognizing that the spiritual war is going on, you know, heaven and hell is on earth, and earth is hell itself. And it's like this cycle of living as a human being, like, this is training, okay? This is training back for what's really happening, all right? And so... I just want to come out here. This is more like a moment of inspiration. You're not going to see much of the actual Tai Chi, the, the boxing or the, the, the breathing or all the other stuff. But we did exchange gifts. So I'm going to share what she gave me. She gave me a gift. She gave me three gifts, I think, as well, which is like total surprise. So 
um, that was nice because that also speaks for the, the energetic exchange, you know, that's going on. So right now what I'm going to do is, ironically, I had an in-home healing, healing session yesterday and it's the first time I got paid in cash in a long time. So I'm going to go ahead, deposit this in the bank. Um, and the reason I share this part is because at a certain point, like my businesses weren't, they weren't set up. Right. I had one bank account and it was my personal, it was my business, it was my 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 everything account. And now it's like I'm really in the space where like, look, like this money has to go to this specific bank. And, you know, this has to go here so that when taxes come around, like everything's in order. I don't have to go through that crazy headache during that time frame, as well as understanding what is the income coming in and what is the income coming out? Am I actually profiting anything or does it just look like I'm out here living the life that you want to live, quote unquote, or that I think I am li- that I want to live It's more than that. OK. Um, Understand that it's not always all fun and joy. Like there's a lot of shit in between in that cafe that I was just in. I just actually sent out two different um, receipts, okay, to people. And so it's like these are the elements behind the scenes that I just want to go ahead and share. Uh, I think that this actually will be the conclusion of this vlog. It doesn't need to be too much longer than that. I don't feel. And you know, thank you for joining. Thank you for subscribing. Press that thumbs up and that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. It helps me so much. Um, I'm your astro therapist helping you to alleviate suffering, baby. Like we're all suffering somehow, some way. And I want to do that leveraging astrology. Leveraging astrology says that when the moon is in cancer, you go your ass home. Okay. You cook yourself a home cooked meal and you eat. And that, that puts more of a smile on my face. Cause I felt tension all day today from the moment I woke up, I was like, Oh shit, things are tense. And I'm going to go honor what this cancer moon is asking of me. So I love you. I'll see you soon. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yup. I feel I got to call it like I said it before I said it before and I felt it I tell you I smell the death okay you don't need to have um, don't bring handguns to downtown Little Rock Arkansas unless there's been instances where there's been guns in downtown Little Rock Arkansas I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm telling you I felt that shit I called it out loud um, I'm going home So I actually had this Chaco Pyrite in my pocket, which is really such a such a beautiful stone. Um, such a such a beautiful stone. And then this is actually a regular pyrite. One both protecting my money, protecting the abundance. And two, just um, you know, multiplying it, alright, attracting the wealth that I deserve, attracting the self-worth. So this is actually the one and the two. And on top of that, I now have brand new, this pyrite over here on the, in the middle. This is actually an all gold pyrite. It's actually really heavy, but it's exciting because um, I've been feeling that abundance. And what I'm saying right now is it's like, we need to stop being afraid in the spiritual community. You know, generally I would never ever do or show any of this background, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, something feels like important for me I don't know if it's my North Node and, and, and Capricorn second house, okay, resources, money, building, top down, constructing um, the legacy for the family. I don't know if it's that exactly, but it's like, um, I feel like, again, Capricorn is on public reputation, right? And it's like, not necessarily to show people the wealth, but more so to show people, um, you know, the, the process, the method, what does it take? All of this shit is not just me traveling from country to country. Understand that I was just here in the U.S. for four months. It's the longest I've been in the U.S. for three and a half years, for four years, okay? I don't like being here, but being here was exactly what I needed. It was quiet. I was just camped out, okay? Came in here. I was kind of down on one knee. I was like, didn't even know I was down on the knee at first, to be honest. I thought I was just here on my own accord. And it's like, no, spirit was like, get your ass to Arkansas. It's like, what? Arkansas? It's like, yes, we have some lessons for you to learn about your masculine energy. Okay. And so, you know, I'm getting ready now to pull up out of here to Mexico. And it's, it's pretty incredible to see it all. Um, but, yo, what I will recommend is, I got somebody coming up in the bank. Put the cam down. Put the cam down. Choco Pyrite, really down for it. So I actually talked about the Capricorn method, the process. You know, it doesn't have to be really crazy. It doesn't have to be like this master plan, right? I wrote out what we're gonna do today. 
okay i didn't have it. this order didn't actually happen none of this happened in order but um the tai chi i spoke I spoke about we did the embodied movements we began the boxing and then the boxing began to turn to right when our legal activities went so we cut it short <laughs> um you know the meditation was a part of the tai chi and i really spoke words into her while she was doing this so i put the dream in we activated the dream based off what i know we talked about and all that was breath work included and then i kind of went ahead and pulled for her uh six cards for each week basically all right or for each month out of this and i was gonna go ahead and invite her to lunch but things changed life changed meanwhile went ahead to the cafe and from there it was like all right one i had to send out those invoices i kind of spoke about already but two to go over the agreement with her and and make sure on the same page and that way i'm gonna tell you in the spiritual space we got to get that agreement part we have to honor that stage uh don't make my mistakes in the early stages of my career i lost a shit ton of money that i worked for okay i literally lost a shit ton of money that i already worked for that i already invested my time my energy my efforts into and i still didn't receive that because certain people i just wanted to trust through their verbal contact and by me boom delivering the service and that it didn't always happen so make sure you get your agreements in okay make sure you got that that capricornian that virgo like step-by-step -step process down and don't think that you know you're just gonna all be kumbaya at every corner and to really rectify myself from what i was saying earlier you know what when i came here i was down on one knee i actually remember my knee blowing out back in Colombia, which let me know that my structures, okay, my Capricornian methods, my Virgo type methods, all right, the stability of the Taurus, that that shit was not in play, and that I was working too much off of just fire, too much off of the passion, too much off the enthusiasm, too much off the vision, and realizing that a vision usually is over here, when we're right here, well, what's all this shit in the middle? That's what you want to fill in with cement. So again, definitely hit the like and subscribe. I plan on doing more vlog style type things while going through astrology on the back end of what I'm doing so you can really see what the what is up. So this was my Christmas gift to myself. It's an animal oracle deck. Really love it, it's dope. My client just gave me this one, which is look at my sad plant in the background. I went on the trip and he's dying. Sad. This one is, uh, I think, Elements. I just got it today. She just gave it to me today. But it's like wind, earth, uh, alchemy, science, and magic. I don't, I don't know what it is yet. I guess I'll just show you the mini collection for the time being. This is my drum set. This is my sound bow, which is wrapped up. Books, 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 books. The trippy kit shades. More crystals. Probably one of my favorite right here. It's called Chalco Pyrite. Another gold one is regular Pyrite. Okay, so generally I'll go ahead and take some time to say my mantra prior. Okay, I like to end it with this here. This is the whole Pono Pono. All right. Oftentimes we'll take a little whiff of. This that I got in Thailand, as you can see, the language is not English, um, but I, I, I put extra essential oils in there. That's my pretty little sister. Uh, that's my other sister there. And I'm going to take the Garnet, really just to help me, not just with the confidence, but with the drive, have the energy, the passion. I'm going to leave this behind because sometimes I can get too high with the, uh, with the turquoise on. So we're going to leave that. But this is some of the morning ritual for me before I go see client. Actually, just every day for this part. 